Today we are going to talk about Bradley Cooper's hairstyle in A Star Is Born. So if you want to learn how to get this look, then definitely watch today's video. What's going on YouTube? Steven, a salon guy here, and today I have Freddie as my model. You've seen Freddie before. What's interesting about uh, Freddie's hair and this tutorial is I've gotten so many requests for the Bradley Cooper A Star Is Born haircut and hairstyle, and I've been having Freddie grow his hair out a little bit, spin around this way. And um, basically it's exactly at the point where I, I want it to be to showcase more of like how to style this and to break it down. So that is gonna be today's video. Let's get started. So to get this look, uh, let's break down the haircut first and what we've done over the last uh, couple of months to get it here. So Freddie uh, has had you know shorter haircuts in the past that I've, I've been maintaining his hair for quite some time. Let's spin around this way. And typically what we used to do is, you know, crop it down a little bit shorter into here and leave the top longer. And now what we've been doing is we've been actually growing this quite a bit. So the key to getting this haircut really is to make sure that you can have this long enough to kind of tuck it behind the ear like this, which uh, Bradley has in the movie. So let's talk about the length first around the sides. And you could probably go a little bit longer, maybe one inch the most longer um, for his hair or two inches longer, but this is pretty close to what we're, as we're gonna get for this. So I would say the length on the sides has to be one length, probably um, past the ear, definitely, working towards like the cheekbone area. And so this way it's long enough to kind of go all the way back. You can even have it down to say about here, this way it'll actually really go all the way back and kind of come around. Now the good thing about this haircut and the way to really achieve this look is you have to create an angle going shorter down into longer this way. Um, or you can have this all down to here in one length. The key really is to have this all gonna go back and look like you've got the ends kind of flipping out into here a little bit. So that's kind of like, there's a few ways to do it. You can have it shorter, or this could be all one length and come down into one style right through here. But I don't suggest doing that. I suggest layering this a bit so it is a little more loose and free into here, because that's what's gonna look uh, a little better, I think. Um, if it's all one length down to here, it's just gonna be very, very heavy and uh, I think it's better to have a little bit of texture in through here. So as far as the length goes and the actual haircut itself, the whole haircut is layered, but uh, these would technically be kind of longer layers, okay? So this is probably, we're talking about, you know, like at least eight or nine inches, probably it's, the hair is quite a bit long in through here as you can see as I'm picking it up. And this goes all the way down through here. So when I say it's layered, I mean it's pulled out from the head and layering means it's removing a little bit of weight. So I can, you can see it through here. So as this falls down, all this hair is cut, all right? It's not, this doesn't come all the way down to here or else it would be one length. So the layering, what it does is it gives a little bit of shape and movement and texture in through the back. So it's very important that you do have a, you know, medium to longer length uh, layered shape in through here. So really essentially the haircut is um, a layered, like a medium layered, Haircut. So let's talk about the front. Everybody always wants to know about the front and the sides. Everybody loves these longer pieces into here. So Freddie's hair comes down to probably just past his lip, okay, which is almost identical to what Bradley has. And the key to this look is that, you know, in the movie you see Bradley, a lot of times he'll have a couple of pieces coming down like this, right, right into the front. So you have to have these pieces a bit longer into here in order to really achieve that kind of look. So a lot of the movie he's tucking his hair behind his ear and you got these pieces coming down. So you have to make sure that these pieces are long enough, I'd say to at least the, um, the bottom lip. It's essential to have this. If it's too short, then you're not gonna really have that look. So what we're gonna do now is I'm, I sprayed Freddie's uh, hair down with water, and I wanna kinda recreate how to achieve this type of look. So a few key things is you can do this in a few different ways. The first way you can do this is you can actually just use some uh, leave-in product like 25 spray right here and you can literally spray it in your hair. While your hair is like damp, so you get out of the shower, maybe just towel dry it a little bit, spray some 25 spray in, tuck it behind your ear, and literally let your hair just air dry. You don't have to do a darn thing to it. Very, very convenient style. That's what's great by having it a bit longer and having this texture. It can literally dry into an awesome type of look. Now, another way, uh, which I'll show you, is if you do want to go about blow drying it and you want to make it a little more sleek and formal, um, then you can do what I'm gonna show you. But honestly, for the best results, I would just say towel dry it, spray down some 25 spray, maybe a smoothing serum like Sleek, and just let it air dry. It'll look the best, it'll dry the best, it'll create um, some natural texture and wave to it if you have this hair texture. 
Um, but let's show you guys the blow dry now. All right, so I'm gonna use the new Dyson Airwrap blow dryer and I have the attachment on here that's gonna help kind of smooth the hair out. So what I wanna do, I just wanna add a little bit of smoothness to this. And what that will do actually, if the hair is a bit wavy, when the hair is straight, it actually becomes longer because you're taking the wave pattern and actually straightening it so it essentially is making the hair longer. So let's do that. I'm gonna go through this and then we'll come back uh, and see what it looks like. All right, so as you can see, the Dyson Airwrap blow dryer, I mean, look at his hair. It's like silky smooth. Um, not that I'm trying to plug the dryer, but I have been using this dryer a lot more, and it's really, really amazing. Now, as I'm doing this, you can see in Freddie's hair, these gorgeous highlights that he has. I've done them. <laughs> it's a combination of me, and he has naturally blonde hair, and um, what he does being outside quite a bit, it, he, you're gonna get these natural highlights, but I have highlighted his hair in the past, um, which is what really helps create this really nice uh, dimension in through here. So now his hair is straight and now you can see it looks much longer in through here, all right, which is awesome, which is more like how, you know, Bradley has it. So once you have the hair completely dry, I would say pretty silky smooth and don't worry about if the back kind of flips up a little bit. Now it's essential to when you apply product. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my shadow uh, cream pomade, which I think is going to be ideal for him because you want something that's going to be kind of like a leave-in conditioner or leave-in cream, something that's gonna not make the hair very stiff at all because you want the hair to be able to move a little bit. So something very light, but something very tameable as well. So let's apply it to his hair and uh, start the styling process. All right, so after shadow is, is worked through your hands and it works through very, very easily, it's like a very light cream, um, then you want to start, I would say, work it through the sides and then the back, and then you want to work it through the top. So you want to evenly distribute the product throughout the entire head, but you really want to apply it to where the hair is the thickest. And a lot of times, the hair is the thickest towards the back of the head right into here. So you want to make sure that you're really getting all this down into here, because again, this look that Bradley Cooper has is more of a kind of you know, slick back, kind of a second day look almost. So as you can see, um, this product mixed with the haircut and the way that we have everything styled is pretty much forming it right into place. And if you wanna have some of these pieces that come down like this, again, very easy to do that. You can just kind of pull it down with your finger this way, you know, or, or run your fingers like this, kind of loosen up the shape a little bit, and then they're naturally gonna kind of come down like this. So it really depends on if you want those pieces, you can do it right from the start or naturally throughout the day, you know, just from walking around or whatever you're doing, they might just kind of fall, uh, fall into place naturally. So um, I think this is a really, really awesome style. It's something that, you know, you don't see too much anymore, but if you are growing your hair out, it's a really, really good option to have. All right, guys, so here we have the finished look, and as you can see, it's pretty much identical to Bradley's hair in the movie. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, I'm really happy how this came out. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I think this came out pretty awesome. And thank you, Freddie, as always, for being a great model for me. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and click the bell so you're notified of when my videos go live three times a week. Again, I'm doing a new schedule on Mondays, Fridays, and Saturdays. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, leave some comments below. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time for more videos with a salon guy.